data security and cyber are two key topics for the financial services sector and they have evolved over the last couple of years. Matt O'Keefe leads our thinking in respect of how to combat the cyber security threat. Matt, you're with me virtually today. Um, I wanted to get your perspectives in relation to cyber security. Since the onset of COVID-19, what have we seen change from a cyber security perspective? Thanks, Brendan. COVID has really driven a rapid acceleration in the uptake of a number of, of technologies. So everybody is now working virtually, working remotely, and so that is extending the footprint of the technology networks that we interact with. Further, customers of mutual banks um, and, and all businesses are doing a lot more business online, so using the digital systems of the mutual banks. And then thirdly, we've also seen a push to cloud computing as well. But what all of this means in terms of the businesses of mutual banks is there is a significant increase in their need to have trust in their systems so that their customers trust their ability to interact with the mutual. Matt, given the increase in cyber security threats, what should mutual banks be doing in order to be well prepared to prevent or even detect these threats? Well, the fundamentals do still remain the same for mutual banks and their cybersecurity controls. They've got to have strong preventative controls to stop cyber threats. But what we are definitely seeing is an increase in the ability to detect those threats, so there are more threats coming, and be able to more rapidly respond and recover from, from those threats. Also, we're seeing, in particular with a more remote workforce, the increased importance in the requirements around cyber culture. And then lastly, um, and as backed up by the regulatory environment, we do see that in an increasing cyber threat environment, the three lines of defence and embedding cyber security in the first, second and third line of defence is also critically important for mutuals. So Matt, how would you describe a well-prepared organisation? Well, I think that fundamentally there are three key indicators of a cyber-prepared organisation. The first is around strategic alignment. Organisations that have a very clear understanding of their business strategy and what's important to them and make sure that cyber is aligned to and part of delivering that strategy. That really means the conversation at the board and the senior executive level needs to focus on cyber investment aligned to the business's strategy to make sure that the value is being delivered and protected. The second aspect, I think, is a integrated and well-joined up organisation. That is to say, mutual banks, like many organisations, are complex ecosystems. And so cyber risk needs to be understood throughout that ecosystem with your third parties, but also mutual banks need to be well connected with their regulators and law enforcement, uh, obviously their customers uh, and those third parties, as I mentioned. And then the third aspect is around the evolution of the cyber team and the cyber operating model. It's clear that there is more cyber demand most of the time than cyber supply for organisations. And so concepts uh, such as automation, secure by design and continued improvement in the cyber team will be critical for a cyber aware organisation. So Matt, finally, um, recently I saw you do a video with your son around the impacts of cyber security. Um, is cyber meant only for IT professionals or does it go well beyond that? Thanks, Brendan. Very interesting area, I think, and, and an area of particular passion for myself and also for KPMG. We believe that cyber starts at the very beginning for everybody. And so we've invested a lot recently in, a, in an awareness campaign around the globe for cyber for school children and take, teaching them the basics of cyber security because those basics hold true throughout their lives 
as customers, as employees and as leaders of businesses because it's the same basics that need to be applied for organisations as well.